up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 genesis g70 courtesy of jack giambalvo genesis in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and i have actually reviewed this one since it first came out for the 2019 model year when it won motor trend car of the year and so to go along with that another reason you may want to check this one out is it does come with america's best warranty being five years 60 000 mile bumper to bumper 10 year 100 000 mile powertrain warranty which is pretty remarkable given the engine that comes with this one and we'll get into that in a little bit here three years of complimentary maintenance or free maintenance also a great starting price point comparatively speaking to the other vehicles in this class at least so what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always Let's start with pricing. And so the base two liter sedan will start at $36,000 even. Then there's the base two liter sedan with the six speed manual starting at $38,600. And lastly, the 3.3 liter twin turbo starting at $46,200. And by the way, for the base two liter and the 3.3 liter, that does come with either rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. If you wanted to add all wheel drive, simply add $2,000 to those prices. But I will say the six speed is only available in rear wheel drive in case anybody was curious about that. But regardless, as you guys can probably tell, there are two different engine configurations for the G70. First one being a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 252 horsepower at 6,200 RPM, 260 pound feet of torque available at 1,400 RPM, power center rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters or the six speed manual, of course. Zero to 60 time on that one comes in at approximately 6.9 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 30 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so the other engine configuration being the one we have today, this one being powered by that 3.3 liter twin turbo V6, 365 horsepower, 6,000 RPM, 376 pound feet of torque available at 1,300 RPM. Power once again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters. And by the way, we will be testing those paddle shifters out in a little bit here, but zero to 60 time on the 3.3 liter twin turbo, 4.5 seconds. That is remarkable. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna do that acceleration test in a little bit as well. MPG numbers for that engine configuration, 17 in the city, 25 on the highway. Once again, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any of those tests, I did want to mention, there are of course some driving modes located just behind the shifter there. And so when you turn that to the left or the right, you got smart, eco, comfort, sport, and custom. Essentially those will adjust things like the shift points, throttle response, steering sensitivity, the suspension settings, and the all wheel drive system engagement. For example, if I were to put it in sport driving mode, that is going to send more torque to the rear wheels, approximately 80 to 100% of the power to the rear wheels, as opposed to let's say you're in comfort driving mode, where it's simply going to send 60 to 70% of the torque to the rear wheels. So that of course helping with acceleration. So the drive modes actually do change up the driving dynamics of the G70 quite substantially. Usually in most cars, it's throttle response, shift points and steering sensitivity sensitivity and it ends there. There's no suspension differences. There's no all wheel drive system engagement differences. That is pretty cool that the G70 does offer you that. But having said that, let's go ahead and put it in sport driving mode here. By the way, I should also mention it does adjust the gauge setup or the gauge colors, I should say ever so slightly. So I do have some red hues on the gauge setup that I'm looking at right now, but dang, it's definitely holding the RPMs at a much higher level. It's going to give you more power on demand, like I was saying, but now I'm just going to shut up here for a second and uh, let's Let's go ahead and do a quick little paddle shifter test here to start. I want to see how quickly they react for us here. Now let's start with that and then we'll do the acceleration test. All right, you guys getting out on the road here. Let's give the paddle shifters a shot. Wow. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. All right. This wasn't the acceleration test, but my goodness, you can feel it in your stomach. But we'll get to that acceleration test in a couple seconds here. But actually paddle shifters, surprisingly, were pretty darn quick. I kind of did not expect that because sometimes with sedans or not, but G70, well done with the paddle shifters at least. <laughs> very impressed. So paddle shifters do feel very high quality as well. It's another one of my pet peeves if they're black plastic ones like the ones I got in my Mustang. Not the best high quality paddle shifters, I will say that, but in the G70, they are very nice. So I do appreciate that. But now, since we did that, let's go ahead and uh, 
Let's get the control back to the G70 here. Let's do a quick little acceleration test and let's have some fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to this. Let's see how quickly we can get the G70 here up to speed. All right, and here is the straightaway. Hit it. Oh my goodness. Gosh darn you. <laughs> I love this car. That was... That was just wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That acceleration test was a beautiful thing. My goodness, twin turbo V6. And you know what the best part about that acceleration test? The twin turbo V6 is warranted for freaking 10 years, man. That is wonderful. So a lot of times you think with turbocharged engines, they're not as reliable. Although Consumer Reports actually does give a decent reliability rating. But I will say even a twin turbo V6, you wouldn't think was reliable. But Genesis has enough confidence though to back that engine up with 10 years of warranty, which I just absolutely love. So thank you, Genesis, for that. This car is absolutely wonderful. Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so to start, up front you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.4 inch ventilated rear discs. And on top of that, I should also mention, if you were to go with that twin turbo V6, that brake setup is then actually manufactured by Brembo, which is perhaps the most well-known brake manufacturer when it comes to high performance vehicles. So that's a wonderful thing as well. Overall, when it comes to the 60 to zero stopping distance, it actually comes in at 190 nine feet which is absolutely wonderful and that is definitely a sports car like braking statistic right there so i love that as far as the braking feel goes it's been absolutely fine and actually as i'm coming up to a, a turn here let's just yeah it's perfectly fine having read that number i really didn't think there would be any issues but really there are not there's no brake pedal delay it has a nice firm feel to it so it is as expected in a car like the g70 with as much power as it has so i absolutely love the braking on this thing touching on suspension and handling up front you will find a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bar that's all pretty standard at this point but in addition to that there is an adaptive damping suspension if you were to go with the sport pack package for the V6 or the prestige package for the four cylinder. So both of these, you are going to get that adaptive damping suspension, which essentially gives you the best of both worlds. Not only tightens up the suspension during heavy cornering, but it actually monitors each shock absorber individually, giving you a much smoother ride, soaking up the roads imperfections as well. So if you wanted a smoother ride, and better handling go with that adaptive damping suspension for sure having said that as far as the ride quality goes we do have that sport package here today on the one i have so it's perfectly fine definitely soaking up the roads and perfections absolutely wonderfully and i will say i did not drive one with the adaptive damping suspension last year it is a night and day difference. And I was always curious about that. I always wanted to drive one with the adaptive damping suspension, but really it's such a smoother ride if you get it in the G70. I will say that you can definitely feel a lot more of the roads and perfections without it. So keep that in mind if you are shopping for a G70. If you want that smoother ride, definitely go with that suspension setup. As far as steering feel goes, it is a noticeably heavier weight if I were to put it in sport driving mode, but I will say not quite as heavy as I would like it, but still heavier than it would be in comfort mode. I will say that. As far as cabin noise goes, this thing is definitely well insulated. Not a whole lot of exterior noise is coming into the cabin. I have the climate control on right now, so you may hear that. Maybe you don't, but nonetheless, not a whole lot of exterior road noise. That's nice. Touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine. The second row headrests definitely tuck a good bit into the seats when those second row seats are not in use. That's definitely a good thing for visibility. And there's a head-up display available with the four-cylinder prestige package and also the six-cylinder prestige and sport packages. So I'm actually looking at that right now. It gives you your digital speed projected onto the windshield so you don't have to take your eyes off the road as much. That's definitely a good thing. It also gives you the speed limit of any given road as well as some safety information. So all of that is a beautiful thing when it comes to visibility. Also rain sensing windshield wipers come standard across the board. So essentially what that is, is when the G70 detects any kind of even mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers. So it's just one last thing you have to worry about. So it's definitely a big plus there as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and find a nice spot in the woods here. And let's check out the exterior of this brand new 2021 Genesis G70.
All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2021 Genesis G70 finished in what is perhaps probably my favorite color on the G70 being Siberian Ice. It is not their white. It's kind of a mixture of white and silver, and it looks absolutely amazing. It is a really cool name, too. But anyways, no new changes, really, for the 2021 G70 on the exterior. I think the refresh might be coming on the 2022 model year, in case anybody was waiting for that. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and start up front here on the G70. Full LED headlights coming standard on this one. And of course they do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you there. One last thing you have to worry about. Also LED daytime running lights also coming standard up front. Headlight housings are actually going to differ dependent upon the package and the trim that you go with. For example, the clear housings are gonna be on that base two liter automatic. Dark housings essentially on all other trims. And you're actually gonna find some copper accents on the sport package that we have right now. And I'll get a little bit up close here and show you guys that. And there's gonna be copper accents throughout with that sport package as well, I should say that. But dark chrome grill surrounds coming with the sport package. Also, you guys can see that adaptive cruise control sensor located within that front grille as well. It's really well integrated into the front grille. You almost can't even tell that it's there. You can if you get really up close, I suppose, but from a distance, you really can't even tell that it's there. So that is pretty well integrated. And of course, you have this super cool looking Genesis logo that kind of almost has like a flake to it. But anyways, I'm getting too nitpicky. Let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the G70 here. So we're now making our way to the side. Chrome window surrounds coming with the two liter. Dark window surrounds, dark chrome window surrounds, I should say, coming with the 3.3 liter. And that, of course, continues onto the door handles and some fender accenting. You guys can see the fender accenting there. Looks kind of like a boomerang. Again, same concept, dark chrome or chrome accents, essentially. Let's take a look at the side mirrors, body colored power jump adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will be heated with integrated turret signals across the board. You will actually get Genesis logo approach lights if you were to go with the V6 or the two liter elite and prestige packages. So side mirrors also kind of look like they're sitting on a shard of metal. Let me get a little bit more up close for you guys. I think it's such a cool design because it is kind of a shard of metal at the bottom and it kind of just looks like it's sitting on there. So like the design of the side mirrors, taking a step back here looking at the wheel setup now 18 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels coming with the two liter and the two liter elite package 19 inch double five spoke wheels coming with the two liter prestige the v6 base and the v6 prestige and 19 inch black five spoke alloys coming with the sport package that of course is what you're looking at right now another thing i wanted to mention though there is a staggered fitment that comes standard on the 19 inch wheel packages however it is not the same for the 18 inch wheel packages meaning you can rotate the tires on the 18 inch wheel design you cannot on the 19 inch wheel design and so they do this because it gives you more traction better acceleration better handling but downside is you don't get to rotate the tire so i wanted to mention that to you guys just so you know so then make your way to the back of this one shark fin antenna coming standard of course you got your engine badging located on the right hand side of that rear trunk it's going to let you know whether you have the two liter or the 3.3 liter essentially H-Track badging, that is what Genesis calls their all-wheel drive system. You know, every manufacturer has a name for it these days. So H-Track all-wheel drive if your vehicle is equipped. LED taillights coming standard across the board as well. And just below it all, a single exhaust outlet with dual tips if you go with the two liter. However, if you were to go with that V6, you have dual exhaust outlets with integrated chrome tips. Love how they're integrated into that rear bumper. Definitely a good look in the back, but do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it is a power trunk if you were to go with the V6 Prestige or Sport trim level. So that's gonna be optional dependent upon the package that you go with. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 10.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, yes, those rear seats do fold down and that will give you a good bit of extra space there then if you needed it. Make your way then to the rear legroom that comes in at 34.8 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. So 
not the most legroom in its segment, but again, for reference, this is how much space I had. Rear center armrest with cup holders also coming standard back there. Rear ventilation also standard. You can actually get heated rear seats if you go with the two liter prestige or the V6 prestige package or sport packages will give you those heated rear seats as well. There's also a 12 volt power outlet back there. Also some LED lighting on the roof there. That is pretty darn cool front seat back map pockets as well. And another cool little feature of the G70, if you were having a little trouble maybe getting out of the rear seats or in, either one I guess, can actually move up the passenger side seat via the buttons on the side of the seat from the back. So no need for the front passenger to actually move their seat after they get out. You can actually do that yourself as a rear passenger by simply just pressing the buttons on the left side of that front seat. So that's pretty cool, pretty convenient feature there to have as well. But so then make your way to the front seats, eight way power adjustable front seats with power lumbar come standard. Leatherette finish comes with the two liter base trim level. However, all other trims essentially will give you a full leather finish. Then if you wanted heated seats, simply go with a V6 or the two liter elite and prestige packages. Ventilated front seats come with the two liter prestige and you will actually get quilted Napa leather coming with the V6 prestige and sport packages and also the two liter prestige package. So that of course is what you were looking at right now. The cool thing about that quilted Napa leather actually is you could choose between the gray finish that you're currently looking at for the quilting or there's also a red finish perhaps if you went with a red exterior as well so you got a couple options there too and that gray stitching ties in above the passenger side glove box and some other areas on the doors as well but take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped it is power adjustable if you go with the two liter prestige or the same thing on the v6 side of things it's also heated if you go with the two liter prestige or any of the v6 trims but i will say steering wheel is plenty fine i wouldn't have minded a little bit thicker 10 and 2 grips kind of along the lines of what bmw does perhaps especially for the three 3.3 liter twin turbo v6 thicker grips kind of give you a better feeling of being in control so other than that, steering wheel is perfectly fine though. And take a look at the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Genesis logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. And by the way, this is a keyless entry with push button start for the G70. So all I need to do is simply leave the key in my pocket, walk up to the G70, no need to take the key out of my pocket once again, put my phone on the brake. There is a push button start located just to the left of the climate control, just underneath of the infotainment screen. And so all all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so, but then once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a, a relatively large, I guess, digital display front and center, which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there. And so through that, you can check out a bunch of different information, including how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your outside temperature, of course, your driving modes, when you need your next oil change, trip A, trip B, the list goes on there. But having said that, the gauges are all right. Right. However, in Korea, where these cars are made, they have a 3D digital gauge cluster that looks absolutely amazing. So I beg you, Genesis, bring that to the US. We want it. It is perhaps the coolest looking digital gauge setup. A lot of companies right now are doing the digital gauges, including Hyundai, actually. Even on their Palisade, their new Elantra coming out. Audi still has the best here in the US, in my opinion. But if Genesis were to bring their 3D digital gauge cluster over here in the US, they would absolutely kill it. So I would definitely love to see that here in the US. But having said that, let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality power sunroof coming with the two liter elite and prestige packages and the V6 here that we have today. Overhead sunglass holder directly in front of that. Suede headliner. This perhaps is one of my favorite parts about the G70. Completely changes the feel of this thing. Two liter prestige package gets it and the V6 prestige and sport packages will get that as well. I don't know why I love suede headliners. It just increases the luxury of any car by tenfold. McLaren has it, Lamborghini has it. A lot of really high-end cars always get that suede headliner. And so I do love that the G70 package that we have today here at least has that. So a big fan of that. Home link controls for the V6 Sport only. Those are gonna be found on the rear view mirror there for up to three different garage doors. Aluminum trim details throughout, including around the door handles on the inside here, both in the front and the back. Also just above the passenger side glove box and actually on the handle 
of the passenger side glove box as well. Love that. Usually that's plastic, so I like that Genesis didn't overlook that. Wireless phone charger coming with the two liter prestige package and all these six trims, that's gonna be located directly in front of the shifter there. It's pretty cool. Also directly in front of the shifter since we're there, 12 volt power outlet, auxiliary port, USB charging port. Just behind the shifter, you have an electromechanical parking brake, two cup holders, and I love the perimeter of those cup holders as well. And that actually did continue into the back. You guys probably saw that on the cup holders back there too. So that's pretty darn cool. And within the center armrest, you do have a USB charging port in there. And it's a fairly decent size in there. So that's pretty nice as well. And again, gray stitching or red stitching, depending on what configuration that you go with, that can be found throughout as well. But so then making our way to the tech display, eight inch color touchscreen display coming standard across the board. Bluetooth and audio streaming do come with that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Factory navigation system comes with the two liter elite and prestige packages and every V6 as well. So we do have that factory navigation system as well. You could check out your climate control settings up there, your drive modes, and also your radio information as expected. And so when it comes to the sound systems of the Genesis G70, you will find six speakers on the base two liter only. However, Every single other configuration for the G70 is going to give you a 15 speaker lexicon sound system, 660 watts. Of course, that's what we have here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Definitely more than enough bass. That was plenty fine. No issues with that sound system whatsoever. And really, whenever I test out the Lexicon sound systems in Genesis, they always do a wonderful job. So well done, Genesis. Needless to say. Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display, at least, is when you do put the G70 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera across the board. Surround view monitor or that 360 degree aerial view coming with the two liter prestige package and the V6 Prestige and Sport packages if you wanted to go that route. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety where Genesis kills it. IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus to start, which by the way is the very highest designation given by IIHS. Front side, side curtain airbags, driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks back there as well. Tire pressure monitoring system, that's all pretty basic, but Now's the fun part. Also standard on all G70s being a driver attention monitoring system. That's great. High beam assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, which is still optional on a lot of other luxury automakers out there. Lane keep assist, which works beautifully in Genesis and Hyundai for that matter. So that's definitely a big plus too. Forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection as well. And in addition to that, the two liter elite package and up is actually gonna give you parking sensors. So it's gonna beep at you essentially if you get too close to an object. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the 2021 Genesis G70, crazy fast twin turbo v6 and i've actually driven the two liter turbocharged engine as well there's ever so slight turbo delay unless you keep it in paddle shifter mode and then you can really alleviate that i will say that but the twin turbo v6 man it will put a smile on your face every time you hit the gas and it's warranted for 10 years 100 000 miles so that's a beautiful thing as well love the suede headliner again that's a big one for me it just ups the luxuriousness i guess you could say of any vehicle this is really a heck of a value as well when you compare it to its competition and its class, it's essentially all the luxury you want just for thousands cheaper. So you gotta love that as well. As far as my constructive criticism goes for the G70, it was absolutely amazing when it comes out, but there are some things that could probably afford to update at this point. Maybe it'll update it next year, but things like a larger tech display, even their Hyundai Palisade, I believe, it has a 12.3 inch tech display, I think it is, and a digital gauge cluster for that matter as well. We still have the analog gauges here. That 3D digital gauge cluster would absolutely make this car on a whole nother level here in the US, I'll tell you that. Also my last constructive criticism, no ambient lighting. You get it on the Hyundai Palisade and other Hyundais, and I keep mentioning that of course, because Hyundai makes Genesis just like Toyota makes Lexus, Honda makes Acura and so on. So I wouldn't have minded seeing some ambient lighting in the G70, but that's it. That's all I got for constructive criticism. Other than that, this is a heck of a value, a crazy fun car to drive, incredible warranty, three years free maintenance. So really can't go wrong with the Genesis G70, quite honestly. Honestly, but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all 
do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.